frame filler is using the most popular method to fill up missing frame, frame interpolation. Before going through this tool, I would like to give credit for those who shared this method in 2 Creator. Frame Fix, Alex Harding shared this tool in 2014. The tool can be found on Nukipedia. Then Rich Fraser shared the method in 2015. The article can be found on Nukipedia also. His tool can be found in his GitHub. Frame Fixer, Huzi NK shared this tool in 2017. Added multi-frame support. The tool can be found on Nukipedia. C Rebuild, Chris Charlton shared this tool in 2019. Switched to Kronos, so the new regularized option can give a better result. The tool can be found on Nukipedia as well. Ok, let's start to go through my frame filler. Sometimes when having 911 delivery because of CG render having a tight schedule, then we might encounter broken frames or missing frames. Here is the CG render, and the error caused by missing frames. Let's pull out frame filler. Enter the frame number that is missing. Then hit generate. Now the missing frame had been reconstructed from the existing pre-frame and post-frame. In this field, you can enter more than one frame. For format can be checked inside the tooltip. So different frames are separate by comma and space allowed. If you have multiple missing frames in a row, you can use dash to join the first frame and the last frame. Comma works too. The tool will check if those frames are separate or joined together. The last option, which is I like the most. Detect from read node. Connect this tool directly to the read node, then it will fill up all the missing frames. Hit generate. Then the tool will create the setup inside the group to fill up those missing frames. And after that, the text field will be locked, to avoid the value mismatch the generated setup. Use the reset button to clean up the internal setup and unlock the text field if needed. So frame 1063 is the new frame. When you check the frame before, it seems motion blur is not enough, so that can be adjusted on this tool. Keep in mind that enabling motion blur will slow down the speed. When you check the frame after, it seems the shape or motion blur pops too much. There is a knob called subframe bias to adjust. 0.5 is the average of pre-frame and post-frame. 0.0 is biased to pre-frame and 1.0 is biased to post-frame. So when I change to 0.8 here, it gives me a better transition to the next frame. Regularization is Kronos's exclusive setting, but you don't need Nukex to run this tool. Local is the same as using Oflow. You can fill up multiple frames in a row. I fill up frame 1089 to 1094 here, and check out the result. You can also select all channels or single channels. Let's pull out one more short example. Here is the footage with some missing frames. Keep in mind that the detect from red button doesn't work if any nodes in between frame filler and read node. They have to connect directly. So now I have all the missing frames filling in without any error.